Bart Ehrman is not a friend for you. Jeff. And stuff like that. Bart Ehrman so, is not a friend for you. You know why? Okay, you mentioned Bart Ehrman, not me. Bart Ehrman says it is a fact of history. It's an historical fact. And he says it as an atheist, agnostic, that Jesus was killed on the cross. Is Bart Ehrman right? Okay, so, so is he right? Do you know that there there's sources that say, and I'm not saying that, you know, there's sources that say that uh, Jesus had a brother, okay. and Jesus was like a, you know, basically they yeah. put him Thomas Didymus the twin. I, yeah, Thomas Didymus. There the were twin. so many other scriptures that the Romans came down and they said they buried these scriptures. You're you're and not then listening. They had the Council of Nicaea. They Jihad, said, you're not no listening. more of these scriptures. This is what Christianity is. Yeah, jihad, you're not and all listening. Those other people in the Middle East that had their version of who Jesus was and what his early life was, because all you have is an account of three years of his life. Okay. Jihad, not you know you're not listening, right? Anything else. Okay, Jihad, you're huh? not listening. You, you see, you went on a tangent. You didn't listen. Did you mention Bart Ehrman? I said he was one of the okay. scholars. Of many that I know. Okay, Bart Ehrman. I just mentioned what he believes. You went on a tangent about Jesus had a brother. Yeah, Thomas. But Dennis. you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, can I address it? I'll address it. T Jesus's brother. I know Thomas Didymus the twin in Syriac Christianity. The disciple of Jesus, the apostle Thomas, was called his twin. Why? Well, Thomas wasn't from his family. It seems like they had a physical resemblance. But put that aside. You said Council of Nicaea. You again. Are repeating errors that you picked up from people. Not even Bart Ehrman will tell you that at the Council of Nicaea in 325, I'm giving you the date, in the Council of Nicaea 325, no one at the Council decided what books of the Bible would be imposed on Christianity. That was not an issue at the Council of Nicaea. The Council of Nicaea, it was the I believe it was. What? I believe that's wrong. Give me your proof. I have the historical sources. Give me your proof. It is a fact by any scholar, even not a Christian. Bart Ehrman's not a Christian. Go contact him. Um, say, hey, Bart, you're not a Christian. At the Council of Nicaea, is that when they decided the books of the Bible? Say, what are you talking about, man? He'll say, put down the pipe, son. So you're getting information, and you're parroting it, and you're embarrassing yourself for doing so. Now, the other books that were buried, I'm going to tell you what those books are. They're called the Nag Hammadi Library that was found in 1945. <clears throat> These Gospels, you'll find them written in the Coptic language. They're from the second, third, fourth centuries after Jesus. And these Gospels, so-called, actually backfire against you. Because you know what the, these people believed about Jesus? You know what they believe? They're called Gnostics. That's just the term yeah. scholars give. What are they, you know what they believe about Jesus? Exactly. Do you know what they believe? You're saying exactly. Exactly what? They believed he was more like a spiritual leader. They believe he was God, a divine being from a higher level of the aeons, and that he, being God, either wasn't truly human, so there was a human Jesus. Not all of them. Yeah, I know. If you let me finish. Not all of them believe that. Do you let me finish? Yes. The Nagamari, they believe the divine Christ either appeared as a man but wasn't truly human, or there was a human Jesus that was indwelt by the divine Christ. Which of those views agree with Muhammad? Which of the views of the Gnostics agree with Muhammad? <coughs> the they thought he was the Messiah. You're not listening again. The Nag Hammadi Library, their documents show that the church fathers were right when they told us what they believe. They believe the divine Christ, he's divine, he is God from a higher aeon, who either appeared as a man but wasn't truly human, or he indwelt the human Jesus and left him when the human Jesus was dying on the cross. Which of those two views of the Gnostics agree with Muhammad? It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter, no. Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it, doesn't, okay. it doesn't matter. Because right, I don't we... know. Okay. Doesn't matter to you. It should matter to you because your Quran says the true followers of Jesus were victorious and Allah empowered them to be victorious till the day of resurrection. So it doesn't matter to you who the true followers of Jesus were, who were victorious, who won, and remained uppermost till the day of resurrection. 
You don't care? So what we know is that somebody else got put in Jesus' place. Where do you know that from? From the from Islamic source. And so a source that comes over 600 years after the time of Jesus is more reliable than documents that come within the first century, anywhere from 30 to 60 years after Jesus went to heaven. So a document that's 30 years after Jesus went to heaven is less reliable than your Quran that comes 600 years later. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, buddy. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, hey man, you, want, you got more questions, or you want to call back some other time? Um, all, all I'm saying to you is that you there's some other scriptures out there that don't agree with what you guys believe in. Okay, what's your name? Name believe. them. Name them. Huh? Give me the name. I gave you the Gnostic Gospels. They not only not agree with me, they don't some agree with Some of the Gnostic Gospels. That's what I'm trying to tell you. None the of them. Gospels, none of them. They, they believe agree. that Jesus was a man, no. a regular man. No, the Gnostics you're quoting either thought the human Jesus was indwelt by the divine. There were some stuck for Allah that even believed that he was not even born of a virgin. Okay. I don't believe that. So, okay, but so then why are you appealing to them? Okay, let's go with you. The Gnostics that said the Christ is divine, he's God, who appeared as on earth but didn't become man. They didn't all say that. Okay, but you're not listening. I'll get to what they said. Do you agree with them? Were they right? Those Gnostics that said that. That said what? That there is the divine Christ. He is God who came to the earth, appeared as a man, but wasn't actually a man. Do you agree with them? They're right or are they wrong? I believe he was a man. Okay, no. I'm asking, were they right or wrong? I know what you believe. Say it again. Okay. One group of Gnostics thought there is Christ who is a divine being, a God, from the higher level of the aeons, when he came to earth, appeared as a man, but wasn't actually human. He didn't have an actual physical body. It just appeared as a body, but he didn't have one. Were they right or wrong? Wrong. Okay. The other Gnostics believe there was a human Jesus. Listen to this carefully. And that divine Christ, that Christ was different from the human Jesus. He came and dwelt Jesus. Then the human Jesus was nailed on the cross and the christ left him do you believe that were they right they could have been oh so you mean the quran is wrong when it says jesus is the christ because this group says no jesus is not the christ he's a man christ is god that indwelt him and left him so then muhammad is wrong nobody knows for sure and the quran doesn't go into detail about it the quran says jesus is the messiah what are you talking about yeah the jesus is the messiah this That's group said Jews he's thought. not you're not listening, see? Jihad, you're not listening. This group said Jesus is not the Messiah. He's a man, and the Messiah is a divine being, a God that came to dwell in him. But then that Christ left him when the man Jesus died and was nailed to the cross. And you're saying the Quran agrees with this? The Quran came to correct all the disputes that they had. So the Quran says that they disputed amongst themselves. So they're wrong? Jesus. Both these Gnostic yeah. groups were wrong? Yeah, they're wrong in oh, different good. angles according to okay, Islam. Okay, good. So then don't appeal to them because... In different angles. Okay, don't appeal to them because they don't agree with you. Now, where does the Quran say that someone else died in Jesus' place? That's Surah the Nisa, chapter 4, verse 157, right? Okay. Show me where it says that someone was made right. to look like See, Jesus. Uh, that's enough for me. Mm. Take it easy. Okay. Jihad, take care. We'll talk some other time. All right. Pray for Jihad. His name is Jihad. Jihad, what was it? Jihad Yusuf. Pray for him. Jihad Yusuf. We got a few more calls. He was an interesting character, wasn't he? He just hung up. He gave up. He got tired. 